In honor of his retirement, all this week we have been sharing some of the most memorable stories Pat has covered in 43 years with New Center, Maine. And this story comes from the 1998 presidential campaign. For years, the only home owned by George and Barbara Bush was their summer home at Walker's Point in Kenny Bunkport. But their legal voting residence was a suite at a hotel in Houston, Texas. And when they weren't using it, anyone could stay there. So we did. Thank you very, very much. For Presidential candidates are not shy about exploiting where they come from. Michael Dukakis gets a boost in New Hampshire because he's a neighbor. Robert Dole's Midwestern roots play well in Iowa. Tennessee's Albert Gore hopes his ties to the South help him get the nod. It's generally one home base per customer. But what about George Bush? Well, he lives in Washington, in the official residence of the vice president. He spends many weekends in Kennebunkport at his family homestead. But his driver's license says he's a resident of the Lone Star State. Welcome to the official Houston residence of Vice President George Bush. Mr. and Mrs. Bush aren't here right now. In fact, they're really not here all that often. And when they're not here, just about anybody can find out what it's like to live like a vice president because the Bush home is not a house, it's not an apartment or a condo. It's in a hotel. The Houstonian Hotel, to be exact, a plush but never ostentatious hotel and conference center in the largest city in Texas. We stayed in Bush's suite recently to check things out. From the guardhouse out front to the elegantly landscaped grounds, this is a lot more than a place for a weary traveler to grab some shut-eye. We're uh, very proud and feel very fortunate that uh, he considers us his home. The Bushes stay in Suite 275. A photo is the only giveaway to the average $500 a night customer that this is a suite with a special distinction. Resident manager Toby June is fairly modest about the whole thing. Uh, not exactly your standard uh, motel room or hotel room uh, paintings. In the... No, we, <laughs> we, it's upgraded and a lot homier. Uh, and uh, we feel it's extremely comfortable for them and they're able to relax in it. Homier is a bit of an understatement, but you get the idea. It's not perfect. Even the vice president has to pay extra to watch movies on cable TV. Still, six or eight times a year, George Bush comes home to a hotel. Now, when President Reagan goes home to his ranch in California, he says he likes to spend his time clearing brush. I don't think they do a lot of that here at the Houstonian. For recreation, Bush avails himself of the cushy outdoor track, padded and easy on the feet or he moves indoors to the well-appointed health club. As nice as it is, some people in Texas think it's stretching things a bit to call this his home. And he wants to come in Texas and say, oh, y'all got to support me because, you know, I'm one of you. And when, you know, he left Texas uh, back in 1970. Larry Veselka is chairman of the Harris County Democratic Party. He joined us in the Bush suite to talk about this hotel as home business. He's been able so far to uh, get by the the voting registrars and allowing them to vote. I guess simply because they consider anybody that spent so much time moving around as he has over the last 15, 16 years so uh, non-permanent anywhere, they said, well, we'll let him vote somewhere. Texas Republican Party Chairman George Strake naturally disagrees. It's not a big deal where, I mean, I don't care whether he lives in a hotel room or a telephone booth. He's a Texan as far as I'm concerned. Well, I th consider the intent. Longtime Harris County tax assessor and voter registrar Carl Smith made the decision to allow Bush to claim the hotel as his legal residence. He based it on the fact that Bush used to own this home in Houston, but sold it when he became vice president. Bush also, in a sworn statement, declared his intention to build a new home on some land he owns here when he retires from public service. So the fact that someone doesn't own a home is not... Uh, I'd say it has nothing to do with it. Still, the question remains in the minds of the politically curious. Is George Bush a Texan or a New England Yankee? He seems to like it both ways. And indeed, in the second part of that report, we heard from then Vice President Bush, who very wisely made a virtue out of his ties to Maine, to Texas, to Connecticut, and Massachusetts. And why not? And it worked out. He yeah. was elected. Yeah, worked for him.